spent back when a little too late because uh, most of the uh, crew from Greenwell's ship, as well as all of the treasure, are out in longboats by now. But Greenwell's back there covering his men, making sure that no one can give chase. Makes a mistake. He looks over his shoulder to see if his men are well away. And Cutler takes off Greenwell's arm just below the elbow. Well, as with the, anyone else in the articles, Greenwell not only gets the share that any crewman gets, he gets the captain's share as well. And he gets a share of the losing a body part. So, Pat gets into his idea of how I could just spend this all. But I think I'll do something better. He had a genius for the ship's cargo. He took Greenwell's extra share of gold and made a golden arm. From that time on, Edward Greenwell was known as Gold Wind Greenwell. He got many a prize and was a thorn in Cutler's side for years. But finally, as happened with most pirates, he was gone. He was tried and just happened Cutler was in court when he was sentenced to be hanged in Jimmy. Now Cutler had got in his eye idea in his head that this would become enough of a personal matter that Greenland told me. So, sitting there watching the body, watching the golden wind swing in the breeze with the rest of Greenwell's body, after the crowds have gone down, he goes over to the sentry and says, Here's a few shillings a piece. Go get drunk. Dare you to do that? And he says, I'll take care of seeing that he's cut down and gibbeted. Mm -hmm. So, indeed, Samuel Cutler brings out his blade, hacks the rope, down comes Greenwell. Now, he shouldn't believe him to be supposed to be gibbeted as a warning to other pirates. He's got his own idea. Takes him home to his quarters. Hacks off the gold arm. Four then he takes the rest of Greenwell up to the little Mahara, whose stones, it's a rope, and down goes Greenwell. Supposedly out of sight for us. Then Cumberland goes back to his room. And he's gloating over his prize. He takes it out. Here's a little whisper. Sam, come back. Looks around. Besides, the, what's going on is it's just this meditation. Looking close to stroking a golden arm. Cut. You've stolen that. Who is there? Who is up? Looks over in the corner of the room. There's the column of fog. What is going on here? The fog starts to Face gold wing green. It is indeed his ghost. Points the stump of his arm at Cutler and says, You stole my arm. I earned it. I'm taking it to my grave with me. Cutler has decided already that the arm deserves to be hit. Clasped into him says, no, you will never take it from me. You're a ghost who can't touch me. Greenwood's ghost laughs. Points his arm and it says, You will give it to me now. Cutter says, 
The only way you wouldn't take this view of my dead body, which well stands very still and says, so Sam can cut those back in the way. Holding tight to the arm. Say, you can't take it, you can't take it. Oh! The next morning, they found Captain Samuel Cutler in his rooms, his eyes wide open in fear, his throat crushed, and never again was seen in the arm, gold leaf. 